Hello class. So today we are going to discuss again factorization, lesson two, and this is the second way to factorize a given polynomial. Grouping of terms. What do you mean by that? Arrange the terms of the given polynomial in groups in such a way that each group has a common factor. Suppose there are six terms and we are arranging in groups of twos. We'll arrange in such a way that each has a common factor. Then factorize each group, and we need to then the third step. Take out the factors which is common to each group. Now each group which was factorized must have a common factor to get factorized in the last step. What do I mean by this? Take one example. Suppose we have a x minus a y plus b x minus b y. Now there are four terms I have arranged in groups of twos. Suppose we take a common, the LCF is a, so it becomes x minus y over here. Plus, we'll take b common, x minus y. See, the grouping was in such a way that when you factorize each group, you know there's still something common in this step. Take out x minus y common in both, or the LCF is x minus y. What is left over here? A plus b. So this is factorized. So x minus y is one of the factor of this. A plus b is the another factor of this. Which means if you divide this by x minus y, there'll be no remainder. If you divide this by x plus y, there'll be no remainder. Now it was already arranged. It was already grouped. Suppose they don't group it and give it to us. I'll take one more example. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, this is an interesting sum. X cube minus x square plus a x plus x minus a. Now this was the sum. Suppose we don't we we believe that this is already grouped of two, and we take out commons and we see where we end up. X square is common. X minus one. Over here x is common. A plus one. Over here if you take out minus one common, a plus one. See, we didn't group properly because. In the second step, if you see, these two are factorized. These two are factorized. These two are factorized. Okay, there is something common. But in the second step, they don't have anything common in them. You know, this is x minus one. This is a plus one, and this is a plus one. So what do we do? We'll rearrange this. We'll rearrange this. Let me see how we can we rearrange x cube minus x square plus Uh, a x minus a plus x minus one. Now see the grouping. Now see how it helps us. X square common. So what is left? X minus one plus sign comes a. So x minus one plus in this two one is common because one. X one times gives you x, and one one's a one. We already know, so one taking common x minus one. Now look carefully in all those three groups. X minus one is common, so we'll take x minus one common. So what is left over here? X square. What is left over here? A. And what is left over here? One. And this is factorized as this. So these two are the two factors of this expression, which means this divided by this x minus one leaves no remainder. This divided by this again leaves no remainder. Now we'll directly move to the sums of exercise five point two. Now the, the in this exercise all the sums are based on grouping of terms. Now we look at three part one. A square B minus A B square plus three A minus three B. Now this becomes grouping is already done. If you take A B common, the C F is A B. This A will be left minus B will be left. Over here, if you take three common, A will be left minus B will be left. In this step. If you take out a minus b common over here, a b is left over here, 
three is there. That's factorized. Okay. Now we'll look at sum number for part one again. That's six x y square minus three x y minus ten y plus five. Now already grouping is done. I think six and three. The SCF is three x x y square y. This is y will be the SCF. So what is left over here? If you divide six x y square by three x y, you'll get two y minus. This becomes one. When you divide three x y by three x y, you get one. The minus sign comes over here. Okay. Now if you take five, SCF is five. You take out common five. Then over here two y is left, and be careful, the sign changes. Why? Because we have taken the minus sign outside, so this becomes minus one. Now these two groups have two y minus one as common. So what is left over here? Three x y. Left over here is minus five. Hence this is factorized as two y minus one by into three x y minus five. We we'll look at another sum. This is five part one. One minus a minus b plus a b. Again, I can say that this is already arranged. If you take common one, one minus a is left. Minus sign comes. If you take b common, then over here one is left because b divided by b is one. The sign changes again because we have taken minus sign common. A b divided by b is a. Now these two expression has one minus a common. So what is left over here? One. What is left over here? P. As this is factorized. Now we look at six part two. Y square minus x y bracket one minus six minus x cube. First we need to open this bracket. Y square minus this is x y. And this is minus minus becomes plus. This is x square y because x y into x x into x will be x square minus x cube. I can see that they are already arranged. Take y common, so y minus x is left plus x square common. Y minus x is left. In these two expression, y minus x is the SCF or common. Then y is left over here, and x square is left over here. Okay, that's factorized. Now we look at sum number seven, part two. This is two a minus four b minus x a plus two b x. Two a minus four b minus x a plus two b x. Now I can see clearly it's already grouped. You know we don't have to rearrange them. If you take two common from here. A minus two b minus sign comes over here. If you take x common over here, a and this has to change because minus sign is common. So two b again. These two have a minus two b as common. So what is left? Two minus x. Done. Now we look at eight part two, which is again x square minus x a plus two b plus Twice a b. Again, we'll first open the bracket. X square minus a x plus two b x. Sorry, minus sign because minus plus becomes minus plus two a b. Over here, we can take x as a SCF or common. So x minus a is left. Minus sign comes over here. Okay, then two b common. So x and this sign will change. Minus a. Now these two expression has x minus a common, so x minus two b is left factorized. Now we look at another sum. This is nine part two. Interesting. A x plus b y whole square plus b x minus a y whole square. Okay. Now we have already done in expansion that a plus b whole square is a square plus twice ab plus b square. We already know this fact. 
we'll apply this over here. Ax plus by whole square will be this. The first term square plus twice into the first term into the second term plus the second term whole square. Similarly, this we know the first term square plus oh minus twice first term to second term plus the second term whole square. Yeah. Now if you look carefully, two a b x y and 2 a b x y this is positive and this is negative so this cancels out over here so what is left if you open the bracket a square x square plus b square y square plus b square x square plus a square y square grouping is already grouped uh, no will there's nothing common over here there's nothing common over here we'll group it first a square x square plus b square x square plus b square y square plus a square y square. Now if you take x square common a square plus b square if you take y square common b square plus a square now we know addition is commutative so can we write this as a square plus b square commutative is a plus b is equal to b plus a. Now if you take out a square plus b square common from both the expressions we get you are left with x square plus y square. So this is factorized. So this factorized gives us a square plus b square bracket x square plus y square. A nice sum indeed. Please copy the sum. Now we'll move at the next sum. You can pause the video and see the sum. Okay. 10 part 1 is given as 3x square y minus 3xy plus 12x minus 12. Now thing is already in group. How? Just look over here. If you take 3xy. 3xy is the SCF. If you look carefully for these two terms, okay, what is left? x is left minus 1 is left because 3xy divided by 3xy gives you 1. Plus, over here, if you look carefully, 12 is left is the SCF. So, x minus 1. Now, x minus 1 is common in both. So 3xy plus 12. Now if you look carefully, this can be further factorized because in both the term 3 is common. So I'll take out 3 outside. So what is left? xy plus 4. We could have done this step. We, we, we could have taken 3 common in the first step only and done the entire sum. Over here also we can take common. Now we look at the sum number 13, the last sum of this exercise. No, we'll first do 12 and then we'll do 13. You can pause the video to see the sum. Number 12, ax square minus bx square plus ay square minus by square plus az square minus bz square. It's already arranged. It's already in group. If you take common x square a minus b, if you take common y square a minus b, if you take common z square a minus b, in all the three, you see a minus b is common. So what is left? x square plus y square plus z square. Hence this is factorized. a minus b is the first factor and x square plus y square plus z square is the other factor. Now we look at the last sum for this exercise. This will x minus 1 minus x minus 1 whole square plus a x minus 1. Now look carefully.
I'll take one common. So x minus one will be left. This you leave it as it is. Over here, no. Mm, like oh, this was a. Over here, if you see, a is common. So x minus one is left. Now in all these three terms, if you see, x minus one is the SCF or common. So if you take out x minus one, what will be left over here? One. Over here. x minus 1 is left because x minus 1 whole square is nothing but x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 isn't it and over here a will be left then this will be x minus 1 if i open the bracket minus x plus 1 plus a so this becomes x minus 1 and this becomes 2 minus x plus a this is factorized in the next video we'll do the difference of two square how to factorize if the difference of two square is given